Hi everybody, my name is Paulina. I'm a product manager here at Teachable. Today I'm gonna walk you through how to create a course using our different methods, as well as getting it ready to launch and be presented to the world. So there's a few different ways that you can make a course. If you've just signed up for Teachable and you did not make a product when being presented the product in tent screen, but you chose a course, you'll notice that your homepage has the ability to quickly create a course outline using our AI tool. However, if you don't land in that bucket, there's two other ways to make a course. One is by clicking into courses here. We'll have a create course button here or up here if you already have courses created. The other way is to click on this plus button by products in the side nav and clicking on course. Clicking on either of those buttons will bring you into our course creation wizard, which has four steps. So the first step is to tell us about your course. So today I will make a course about camels. So I'm going to give my course a title. It's just going to be called camels. And then we also ask for a description of your course. This is optional, but it will help you later on in the creation process. So my course is going to be about how camels survive in the desert. The next step is to add a thumbnail image. You can choose you don't have one and skip this step, or you can add an image here. We give some important information about the aspect ratio and a recommended size. We have several different ways that you can upload the image. You can use your Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. If you have a link to an image stored elsewhere on the web, you can also enter in that URL. If you don't have an image, we also have an integration with Unsplash in which you can use a bunch of free high resolution photos. So that's what I'm going to do. And there's an incredible picture of a camel here. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. And I think that looks great. So I'll continue on to the next step. The next step is you can set a price for your course. We have several different ways to price your course. You can do a one-time purchase, a payment plan, subscription, free, or you just don't know yet. I'm gonna go ahead and set a one-time purchase. So it's gonna be $100 and it's gonna be a one-time Camel course purchase is what I'm gonna call it. You can also go ahead and add a subtitle so that would appear under the title or a longer description. I'm gonna skip that and I'm gonna click continue. So now I'm on my last step. So you can see that the description that I entered in step one now comes into play. I have the option to generate my course with AI using that description or I can start from scratch. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and generate with AI. So we're going to use my description of how camels survive in the desert to create my course for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish and we'll give our magical AI curriculum generator some time to work. So now I'm landed on this setup guide. So this guide is going to outline everything I need to do to get my course ready for my students. So you can see that there is a section for the curriculum. Inside the preview, we have a bunch of sections and lessons and even content inside to help get me started. You can see the course title here. I can go ahead and edit that if I want to. My beautiful thumbnail that I got from Unsplash. I can also choose a curriculum layout. You can see the pricing plan that I made. I can also make more if I wanted to, as well as a sales page and a thank you page. So I can build out my whole sales funnel as well as some additional paid features. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna flesh out my curriculum. So I'm gonna click on this edit curriculum button and it's going to take me to my curriculum. If you see on the side nav here, I can also navigate to the curriculum by clicking here. On my curriculum, I have a breadcrumb. So it's gonna tell me which course I'm on. And if I click back here, it'll take me back to my index of all my courses. There's a preview here so I can see how this would look as a student. Since I haven't done much yet, I'm going to save this for later. So I have a bunch of content that the AI curriculum generator has made. So there's a couple of things that I can do first. So I'm going to take a look and see and make sure everything sounds good. 
All right, let's say that I love how everything looks except this behavioral adaptations of camels. I don't like this section. So there's a couple of different ways that I can get rid of this behavioral adaptations of camels. I can click on this kebab menu here and delete this whole section. This would delete the section and the three lessons under it. I could also click on bulk edit, which allows me to edit everything in here. Maybe I actually changed my mind. I actually like this, but I just wanna get rid of the of camels and I want to delete this social behavior for survival. And I can update a couple more things and then I click done. So it's gonna ask me if I want to confirm everything and I can. So once I'm happy with everything, how everything looks on the curriculum, I can actually click into my lessons and start to edit those as well. So you can go ahead and click add content and choose from any of our content features here. One of my colleagues will be going into this in depth. So I'm going to skip this for now and just continue showing you how you'd get your course ready for launch. We have this outline here, so I can continue just going through making sure everything looks good on my end. And once I'm happy, I can publish as I, as I go, which folks use this several different ways. So as long as the course isn't published, as I publish each lesson, I can use this as a project management indicator that the lesson is done. Once the course is published, this is made public to your students. So I could publish as I go, or I could go back to my course and I can publish everything. So let's say that I'm done with everything. I love how everything looks. I can go ahead and publish all from quick actions and that'll publish everything in a section, or I can do that bulk edit and just select everything. And I'm going to click on publish and done. So you can see everything has been published now. I'm also going to make this first introduction section public preview which means that even if someone doesn't buy my course, they, can, they actually have access to look at these two lessons. And you'd usually use this as some sort of interest generator so that folks can kind of see your style, what type of content you're, what type of content you're creating. Um, and it's kind of a teaser to generate some interest in purchasing your course. So now that I've done all this, I'm gonna go ahead and actually preview my curriculum. So now I am on the student's side. We have the curriculum here. I'm previewing as admin, as you can tell from this preview bar, which means that I can see both unpublished and published lessons. So I published everything, so I'll, there aren't any draft tags here, but I can also preview as a student. And previewing as a student is exactly what your students would see. So only those published lessons and sections. So I'm gonna click start, and this is gonna take me to my lesson player now. Now I can see how my student will see all of that beautiful content that I created and everything looks good. If it doesn't look good, we could always click edit into admin or edit in admin. And it's going to take me back into the lesson editor and I can go ahead and edit that way. We can check a few things off our list. We like our curriculum, think it looks great. We love our title, love our camel thumbnail. We can go ahead and edit our template if we want. We have two different types. By default, it's usually colossal, but we could also check out simple if we want. I'm happy with colossal, so I'll stick with that. So I'm gonna go back to this stage. I have my pricing plan. I'm pretty happy with it. I wanna make sure that this checkout page looks good though. So I'm gonna click on this preview link. And this is what my students will see as they check out. So I'm pretty happy with this as well. So I'll continue going down my setup guide. I have a sales page. So I haven't made any edits here, so I'm going to want to do that. So I'm gonna click this button here. Because I use the AI generator, it's gonna give me some personalized copy. What I need to do is make it my own. I can go ahead and update the images if I'd like to make it more camel centric. I could write a little bit more about myself as this is just AI generated. But the most important thing is that there is a pricing plan. In this case, because I made one during the, during the wizard, it's actually going to automatically be posted here. However, if this weren't here, I'd want to make sure to select a pricing plan from this dropdown and add it to my sales page. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this and I can choose my URL. I'm happy with Camel. Great. I'm gonna close out of this, happy with my sales page. And I've already published it, so I don't need to do it here. And then the last thing is my thank you page. So I can preview this or I can edit it. I don't wanna make any changes here. I just wanna simply thank the student, which the template has, and it has that start your course button. So I'm happy with that. So once I've gone through my setup guide, I am good to publish my course. So it's gonna ask me if I want to publish camels. And by publishing, there's a few things that happens. That sales page that I made is now going to be public. So if I share out that URL, folks can actually purchase my course and then enroll in it. And they'll be able to see all of the content that I made available by publishing in the curriculum. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this course. And my course is officially launched and out there in the world. I hope this is useful to you. Thanks.